Well, hello, hello, hello. It's Vegas Police C, and this is the Sahara. Originally opened in 1947 as the Club Bingo on four acres of the 19 acres that are here. It was opened by a man by the name of Milton Pell, and it was a success from the very beginning. It's on the north end of the strip here. And the reason that Milton Penn liked it is because, and people don't realize this about Las Vegas, it's just outside of town. And at the time, the town taxes on slot machines and on table games were actually sort of onerous. In 1951, he raised $2 million, but it ultimately cost $5 million to turn the Sahara into the original Sahara, which had 200 and 40 rooms. Let's walk around here. It's a lot nicer than you think. The Sahara is really the secret gem of Las Vegas. Why? Because it's economical and it's also gorgeous. I'm gonna take a look over here. I sat here the other day in the bar. I had never been in the bar before and I was very happy to be here. So let's take a look at the Cosbar Lounge first. Since it's new to me as of yesterday, it's got a little fireplace. It's very, very nice. Now. The builder of this establishment was none other than Del Webb. Now you may know Del Webb. This is the Cosbar Lounge. You may know Del Webb. He also was the builder at the Flamingo. The Flamingo was Bugsy Siegel's joint down there. It is three miles south of here, the Flamingo. And when Bugsy Siegel was meeting with the builder of this establishment in 1947, he said to Bugsy, you know, I killed like 12 people or something like that. And Dell got very, very, very nervous. And Bugsy said to him famously, don't worry, Dell, we only kill our own. This place has been owned by many people, but it's up to 1,616 rooms now. 1,616, that's a great number. It closed from 2011 to 2014 because nobody knew how to run it properly. And then in 2014, they put $415 million into this place. And it still was not successful because it's all about management here in Las Vegas. You can see it's doing really well now because it was bought by an entrepreneur extraordinaire. His name is Mr. Marulo. And I'm kissing his tuchus because the guy turned nothing into billions of dollars. He originally made his money, I did a little research, by putting Latin ingredients on top of pizza and then executing properly on that. And I'm in the food business, so let me tell you something, it's a very tough business. There's the outdoor pool area, but let's take a look at the history area here at the Sahara. The Moro Marulo, excuse me, Mr. Marulo, the Marulo Group bought it in 2018 for an undisclosed amount of money from a hedge fund. There's Sammy Davis. Is that Jerry? Yeah, that's Jerry. I've done this like three times. I still can't remember who it is. My dad used to watch Flip Wilson and just, he thought he was the funniest guy in the world. He was always watching Flip Wilson. Uh-oh, another dad reference. Is that Carol Channing? My dad was a furrier. Here's some Vegas Police C trivia. And he made a coat for Carol Channing. There's Charo. And there is Mae West. I remember he told me when I was a kid, he said, oh, Carol Channing came in today. And I fitted her for a coat. At the time, it meant not too much to me. Uh, but now that I see her up there, it means something. There's Lou Abbott and Bud Abbott and Lou Costello. There is Louis Prima. Liza Minnelli, Marlena Dietrich, Sugar Ray Robinson, and of course, Elvis. This property, like I said, was bought in 2018, and it's been under tremendous upgrades. You can see how beautiful it is. And I spoke with the man behind the man. He's a genius. And he told me that the reason that this property is so nice is because he knew which contractors to use. They put a lot of foliage outside. The man behind the man was a big fan of this place. And he kind of turned me on to it. Now, I eat breakfast here at Zephyr's all the time. They have incredible French toast. The food at Zephyr's is very, very, very good. And it is the only restaurant I think I've eaten here. I've never eaten at uh, Chef Andres, which is bizarre meats. That's a little out of my price range, unfortunately. I would like to try it maybe someday if I ever make something myself. Here is the check-in. And we'll go back around and maybe we'll walk over to, this is a great place to sit also up here. And maybe we'll go back over to where Chef Andres is. I don't know if you know this or not, but Chef Andres is a tremendous humanitarian. He actually got $100 million 
from Jeffrey Bezos to do good things. So whenever there's a crisis anywhere in the world, Chef Andreas, I hope I'm saying his name right, he will go and he will set up food tents and cafeterias and he will feed people during the crisis. So he's what we would call a real mensch. You know what I mean? God, I get to use a little Yiddish, but you know, what other word would you use there? It's such a great word. You know, I don't want to show off my Yiddish, but I mean, it's the perfect word. Mensch. That's what, that's what Chef Andreas is. Let's go over here to the back into the casino and over to the other bar area. Okay, I've had tacos here. They're actually very good. This is Zephyr's. Delicious food. I haven't done a casino walkthrough in a long time, and I gotta tell you, I'm enjoying myself. Let me go back over here to the right. They should really make the Popcrafts 345 over here. By the way, Popcrafts 345 Popcrafts is coming to Little Poker Room, is coming to the Plaza with Jonathan Jossel, August 28th. Jonathan Jossel, one of the most accommodating CEOs in Las Vegas has agreed to put in 345 Pop Craps. If you made it to the end of this video, you know that Vegas Police is a big Pop Craps player. And I'm very excited about that. I will be at the Plaza August 27th for the installation and August 28th for the rollout of 345 Pop Craps with Jonathan Jossel. And that's just the beginning of what we're going to be doing over there because he is proactive and engaged and open-minded. If only we had more casino CEOs like him. And yes, I'm blowing smoke up his us, but why not? I love that game, 345. I have not eaten at this Asian restaurant, but I did eat at the other restaurant over here to the left, which we're going to walk by. And this is Bizarre Meats, which is world famous. It almost looks like a quasi Chaluli on the ceiling. I hope I'm right about that 100 million and Jeffrey Bezos. I did not wiki that ahead of time. That's, oh, I could smell the meat. Wow, that smells good. I'm going back in for another smell. Oh, let's take a look at the menu at Bizarre Meat, see if it comes up. I came within X number of feet of the door and I got, look at that, and I got a whiff of it. All right, come on menu, come up now, come on. We have another minute and a half here for our walkthrough. You can only do 10 minutes. Well, let's look at, look at the times. There are the times. There is the chef, Andres. And bring back the menu. Let's get that menu, let's get that. How many people are gonna make the end? Only 2% of people make it to the end of a Vegas Poli C video. There it is. The classics, the beef tartare, the gazpacho, Lucia salad, buttered potato puree. Ah. Uh. Very nice. All right, I gotta keep going. Oh, so it's $99 for that Bar Centro tasting menu. That's actually not bad at all for Las Vegas. $99 for Chef Andres. I thought it was a lot more expensive than that. I had like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars in my mind. You see, perception is everything. And I have eaten here, I ate here with Kif Capital. I took him over there for lunch one day. There's the noodle bar. Run away outside of the casino right now. Don't sleep on the Sahara. When I first came here like two, two and a half years ago, I didn't know anything about it and I was ignorant, but I got educated very quickly. And this is my local's casino. It's right down the street from the Allure. They have a William Hill Sportsbook. They should really change over to someone else. You know what I'm saying? But we'll deal with it. Oh, we ate a chicky and Pete's. That's where we ate. We didn't eat at another place. We ate a chicky and Pete's. Let's go back around to the entrance. I get offers from here all the time for free rooms. But I never take it because ah, I like my apartment over there. So I have not taken the free rooms, but I get a lot of offers. Here is the Players Club. It's right, the Players Club is right on the right. It's called the Infinity Rewards Desk. It's right on the right when you come into the property. Thank you for joining me on this walkthrough. Vegas, Paulie C.